An exciting time for you both. What led you to the decision of building your home and, and what stage of planning are you at? Well, we've, we've just started really. Um, we decided we wanted to build our own home because we want to look at customising everything, looking at starting from the, the ground up. In, in regards to the finance side of things, very early stages. Uh, that's why I guess we want to speak to you. So what I suggest you guys doing is sitting down together over coffee um, on the table, put all the bills on the table and then just itemise, you know, open up an Excel spreadsheet or even drop down pen to paper um, the manual way and actually write down and categorise each of those bills. Okay. And that gives you a current understanding of you know, what money is being spent on what and then what should be left over at the end. Now after that you should have, at the end you'll have your income minus your expenses and you have what should left is savings. That is obviously the forefront of how much and how quickly you can get into your home. Yeah, yeah. definitely. So if you get into your savings account, your savings out of that, where's your money going at the moment? Um, we have about five accounts spread between the two of us. We both have individual savings accounts um, and we have a joint account where our rent and stuff comes out of, but it's all a bit unorganised. Yeah. There's obviously a number of government initiatives out there at the moment and the first one is a first homeowner grant. When you borrow for your home, there's obviously online calculators out there on, on the web. Yep. Now you can find a lot of these online calculators on websites that offer finance. Okay. Now they offer the opportunity to see as a guide how much your borrowing capacity is. So all you need to do is put in how much you earn and it tells you you can borrow X amount of dollars. Yep. That way when you walk into building, wanting to build your home, you go into a display village and you can have in the back of your mind how much you can actually borrow as opposed to going in cold, not prepared for your finances, <laughs> yep. and you've, you've locked that 50 square home, and you fall short when the bank says you can only borrow 80% you know, of that. Yep. Yeah, you get you disappointed. Yeah, disappointed. So you don't want to be disappointed, it's a happy yeah. time. <laughs> Start moving forward in life. Talk to Bills to Pay now. Head to billstopay.com.au.